The image stream-based micronucleus assay can overcome several limitations of methods such as automated microscopy and conventional flow cytometry, including low throughput and lack of visual confirmation of events. The main advantage of this technique is that all required events to determine genotoxicity and cytotoxicity can be automatically imaged, identified, and scored without the need to create microscope slides. For cell exposure to clastogens and or aneogens, add one milliliter of the chemical of interest to seven to eight times 10 to the fifth of the experimental cells in 9 milliliters of the appropriate cell culture medium in a T25 flask, and 1 milliliter of water to the control cultures. Incubate the flasks at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% carbon dioxide for 3 hours before transferring the cells to 1 15 milliliter polypropylene tube per flask. Collect the cells by centrifugation and resuspend the pellets in 10 milliliters of fresh culture medium per tube for seeding in new T25 culture flasks. Then add 150 microliters of the stock concentration of cytochalasin B to each flask to achieve a final concentration of 3 micrograms per milliliter. Return the flasks to the incubator for a recovery time equal to 1.5 to 2 doubling times as recommended by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development Guidelines. At the end of the recovery period, transfer the cultures into individual 15 milliliter polypropylene tubes for centrifuge.